Welcome to another episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Fuzzy, Special K, and I'm Squash. And tonight we have Harpoon Brewing's Duncan Coffee Porter. This is a Dunkin' Donuts Porter. It's 28 IBU, 6% alcohol by volume. It's a classic porter with Dunkin' Donuts coffee. It's a brown black color with an espresso and dark chocolate aroma. Roasty malty finish. Hmm. I like the info. Yeah, I like when they put the tasting points, tasty notes on the label so we don't have to pick them up. It tasted like donuts. I've actually had a donut beer. It was not great. Did because you have it wasn't voodoo, a good beer. that voodoo donut beer? Thank uh, you, sir. No, it was actually, I had it against the grain and I was not a fan. It's a nice surge. Yeah. See, it's definitely what I would expect from a Dunkin' Donuts beer. It's very dark. Yeah. Color, yep, uh, very dark, can't see through it. Smell. Uh, it smells like crappy coffee. A little bit. <laughs> like not even like solid. after we we just had a coffee like cinnamon horchata stout. It had yeah. very strong, nice coffee. This just smells like like cheap coffee. You don't really pick up anything else. A little like, vanilla maybe, barely. Just yeah. a hint. But I mean that's typical of you know porters and stouts though. So yeah. That's, I mean it's fine. It could just be a weaker weaker coffee. True. That's uh, very yeah, true. Yeah, it's gone away kind of fast, but it, it's a nice looking head. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's taste it. Mm, that's watery than I expected. Yeah. yeah, it goes down pretty smooth. Mm. It's not it's super. Gonna... It's not super bitter, but it's still. It's a little bit. It's it's watery. Um, it's got a little bit of coffee and chocolate on the back end. It reminds me a lot of black eagling, black and tan in the flavor. A little uh, bit, yeah. But that's meant to be watery. This is a porter. This shouldn't be as watery. Yeah, as this that, is. So. Yeah. That is very watery. It's not, it has no bad flavors in it, it's just not a lot of flavor. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's as far as, like, a, like, if you could have, a, like, a light porter. Porters are, like, stout juniors. Yeah, like yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah. It, it just doesn't have that body to it that you would expect, I yeah. think. Yeah, it's, it's light, watery, uh, it is slightly crisp, which is not something you want in a, a porter. Yeah. Um, it's weird to say. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> You think it, it's like, oh yeah, and you say it out loud, it's just like, oh, that is weird. Yeah, <laughs> it is kind of crisp. Um, it's not a bad crisp, though. Yeah. This is not too bad. It's, this is not a bad beer, it's just not... It's it's not what you would expect. It's, a, it's not bad, it's odd. I think, yeah. I, I think that's the best way to put it. It reminds me if I took some, like, Folgers, some weak Folgers, and, like, put it in the refrigerator. Ran beer through, like, like, a Keurig or something? Yeah, like, put it in the fridge and added, like, maybe a half <laughs> shot of cream in it. Yeah, and then they drank it. So it's, it, 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 it's like alcoholic cold pressed coffee. Yeah, yeah, crappy coffee. Yeah. Well, I'm not really coffee snob, so I can't really say anything. Crappy so. coffee, but not a crappy beer. Um, I don't think it's that bad. No, it's not. It's not no. a bad beer. I, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this. I think this beer's six. Mm -hmm. I think it's above average. How much does it cost? I don't remember. You don't remember. So I bought it from the party source during our live stream. I can't believe this was picked by, I think, Mingo or Prairie Dog as their See, worst beer. I didn't even know if there was, you? I didn't know there was Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Mm -hmm. Radar, beer. apparently. Radar picked that. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a six. I, I have zero issue drinking this. Yeah. Um, there's nothing offensive in the flavor at all. It's just boring. Yeah, it, it's, um, I, it's, it's I it's feel not like, a very big good party beer. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I feel like just because the wateriness really kind of oh, yeah, takes the wind out of its sails. Almost I think. mellow. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll probably get, I'll, I'll go with you, uh, uh, Special K, probably give this a six. Um, yeah, it's it's not great. It's not good. Um, I think for some people who are expecting a more heartier porter, you would... You probably wouldn't like this just yeah. because of that wateriness of it. It's kind of and, and yeah, it's just it's very just plain. This might make a good black and tan. Maybe. Uh, um, but maybe. Given that we already made, already made the comparison, that kind of already tastes like yeah. a black and tan. It's, so yeah, that's true. It's already that watery level consistency. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think I'd give it a six as well. Just Number like, of the beast. Woo! <laughs> I feel like we should just have, you know, balloons and confetti. Oh, uh, I'll do what I'll do. I'll just give it, give it a 660 rating. I flash like 666 very briefly to see if anybody finds it in the videos. That way people go through our videos frame by frame trying to find it. Looking for the six. Yeah. yeah. 
It is very watery though. I mean, a porter, it, it's it's a decent porter. I wouldn't, ex I didn't even know Dunkin' Donuts had a beer. Well, well it's this Harpoon Brewing, so it's Harpoon, okay. Yeah, they just partnered with Dunkin' Donuts. Um, all they did is probably use their Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which I don't think is very good coffee. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Greater, but you're still greater than Folgers. Recommend it? Uh, I'm going to go no, actually. Uh, I mean, it's good, but it's not something that I would spend my money on again. If you want a very weak porter, yeah, yeah, uh, if this you're, is perfect for you. It, it's a good starter. Yeah, starter porter. If you've never had a porter before, then I wouldn't necessarily say no to this. Because uh, if you get something like uh, Victory at Sea, which is a stout, or so, oh no, Victory at Sea is a porter, right yeah. off the bat, that's going to be very strong and very prominent and might yeah. turn you off a little bit. This, on the other hand, is very subtle and yeah, it's like the it's like the Miller Lite of. Porters. porters. I can see that. I yeah. mean, that's a, that's a fair assessment. It's a, it's a light porter. It's a very weak, watery porter. Yeah. I'd have to hear the price before I recommended it. Like, that's probably two bucks. Two yes. bucks? Yeah. For a, for, a, for a single? Yeah. I would... For two bucks for a single, I would not recommend it. I think that's a little too much for... So, like, it's a, it, like I said, it's a very weak, watery porter. I don't know if I'd... For t around that... If, if it is that price, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay for that. All right, well, that's been our episode. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit that like button. That is the best way to support us. I'm Special K. I'm Fuzzy. And I'm Squash. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.